We were wonderfully naive when we started it. I think we kind of sat in the kitchen and did math and thought, okay, if you know it costs us this much to make it and we sell it for this much, we're going to be fine. We only need to put in you know, this much each. Mm. And as they say, what it always takes longer and twice as long and twice as much money as you think it's going to take. That's accurate. I think yeah. um, it's better to not know that sometimes in advance and just just full, fully go into it. But yeah, we've been bootstrapping it completely for the past forever. So um, that's not the long-term plan, of course. Our priority was to grow a profitable business from the very beginning. And that's what we're committed to doing. But I think you also do reach those points at which you stunt your own growth if you don't go raise capital. So we're we're kind of at that space between, you know, let's bootstrap and be profitable and build a stable business. And then how can we actually help more people? Probably not without taking that next step. Yeah, I think that's so true. I mean, we've had a lot of companies on the podcast and there's really two groups. There's there's one group of, of entrepreneurs that I don't know why, but they're really committed to bootstrapping and it's almost like they want to earn it. And, and generally speaking, that means in year six or seven is when they finally hit. Whereas there's a whole another group that realizes in order for me to make it, in order for me to help millions of people, we need capital. And that group just goes so hard into raising capital in like year one, year two in a big way. And then what they're pitching to investors is not, hey, we have this one product we want to get off the ground. What they're pitching to investors is like, look, we're starting a lifestyle company with this whole brand around it. And it's those companies that I've kind of been able to take out that they've, they've basically saved five years just by changing their mindset. And I think, I mean, I don't know how old you guys are, but the way I look at business is you have chapters of your life. And so this could be one chapter, you know, two soul could be one chapter. And as, as entrepreneurs, you'll, you'll want to solve other problems later. Right. And so the way I look at it is like, just grow and learn as much as you can quickly don't be afraid to raise that capital. And at the end of the day, you're going to help more people and acquire a lot of knowledge, like in a much, much faster way, just by kind of biting the bullet. I mean, for us, you know, we're in this time when we've watched so many companies raise exorbitant amount of money and not focus on profitability. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of reaching the end of that phase where, you know, the, what you're looking at is very different. And I think for us, we, you know, we know the end of that's coming, right? We've watched what happened with all these DTC companies that blew up and then were hemorrhaging money. And I think as we come to see the end of that chapter, it was so important for us to be profitable, be stable, understand the unit economics of everything and understand our customer. And then we can just put fuel on the fire. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.